Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Hey guys, it's Toya Nicole and I'm going to show you how I create my interactive digital activities. Now this is a bit tricky, so I'm going to try my best to explain it without being too confusing. All right, so I've already started this and I've linked everything on this slide to slide one. Okay. And all that does is it prevents the slide from moving on to slide two. It prevents it from auto advancing. The only thing I want the kids to be able to interact with are these buttons right here, the four and the six, which I will link later. I'm going to go over here and copy the slide and I'm going to paste it three times. One, two, three. All right, so I'm going to go to slide two. I'm going to take that check mark and put it on the four for the correct answer. And I'm going to put the next button on because once they have the answer correct, they're going to move on to the next problem. Move on to slide three, and I'm going to put the X on the six for the wrong answer. All right, and this is where it starts to get a bit tricky. All right, so again, everything is linked to slide one to prevent auto advancing. The only thing I want them to be able to interact with is the four and the six. So I'm going to link the four to slide two for the correct answer. And I'm going to link the six to slide three for the wrong answer. All right. So now we're going to move on to slide two. The only thing I want them to interact with on slide two is that next button, because once they have the correct answer, they're not going to need to press anything else. Um, everything is already linked to slide two from when we copied it earlier. So now I need to go down here and link these to slide two as well. All right, so I'm going to link the check mark to slide two. And the six will be linked to slide two. Uh, slide two. All right, so I'm going to link the next button to slide four for the next problem. Uh, link slide four. All right, so the only thing they're going to be able to interact with on this slide is that next button, no matter where they press. So I'm going to move on to slide three. If they get the answer wrong, this is where they will go. So the next choice will be the four. So we need to link that to slide two for the correct answer. Oops, slide two for the correct answer. Everything else needs to be linked to slide three because they don't need to interact with anything and we don't want the um, slide to auto advance. So I'm going to link this to slide three and the X to slide three because I only want them to interact with that four. Link the X to slide three. All right. And if they hit that four, it's going to take them here. When they come here, they're going to hit the next button, which is going to take them to the next problem. So I'm going to change this a bit so you guys can see how all these links work. It's all in the links. It's tricky, but once you have it, it, it goes quickly. All right, so I'm going to do this in preview so you guys can see how it works. All right, so I'm clicking all over the slide. And as you can see, they can't go anywhere. So if they hit six, which is the wrong answer, it's going to take them here. Again, I'm clicking. They're not moving. I do want them to hit that four, which takes them to the correct slide. They're going to go next, which takes them to the next problem. So from here, all I do is get this bar out of the way. Uh, open it back up in editor and I just copy and paste. It's all in the links. All right, here we go. So I'm going to copy slides two, three, and four. I'm going to copy those and paste. Once my computer catches up with me. All right, so um, this is the next problem. All right, of course, the correct answer is three. So you're going to link that to slide five. 
The wrong answer is five. So you're going to link that to slide six, but make sure you change the um, pictures and the numbers to match. That's a five and a three. And you're going to do that for this slide too. Okay. So um, all I did was copy and paste. And all I need to do is make sure those links go to the proper correct answer or the wrong answer. All right. Well, I hope you found this video useful. I know it was kind of confusing. Sometimes I have to sit back and think myself and make sure I'm doing it correctly. If you did find this video useful, please like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.